I'm going to take you through creating a digitally colored piece from this traditional piece that I made. So first, to create this ink painting, I'm going to use watercolor paper, waterproof ink, a water cup, and a pointed round watercolor brush. Here, I'm finishing up this ink painting I started. I'm finishing up the details on that amaryllis flower. Now that the piece is finished, I'm going to scan it using Adobe Scan on my phone. So hold the camera over your piece and tap the screen when you're ready to scan. Adobe Scan automatically finds the edges of the paper for you and hit continue when you got it. You can also use Adobe Capture to capture an Im image of your work or you can take a picture. Tap on the pencil icon to rename the scan. I'm going to name it Traditional Ink Painting. Tap OK and then tap Save PDF. Tap on More and tap on Save Pages as JPEG. Now we're ready to bring it into Fresco, exit scan, and open Adobe Fresco. And choose your canvas size. I chose a canvas size of 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. Tap on the picture icon on the left and tap on photos and tap on your artwork scan. Drag the corner handles to scale the size of the art and tap done. Now tap on the artwork layer again, tap on the three dots, and tap on convert the pixel layer. Adjust once more and hit done when you're done. So tap on the blend icon on the bottom and you're going to tap on multiply. Tap on the blank layer underneath your artwork layer and choose your favorite brush. One of my favorites is the ultimate charcoal pencil. Now pick a color and you're ready to start coloring your traditional artwork. The multiply blend mode for the artwork layer allows the line work to, uh, line work to be seen with the color layer underneath to peek through the blank parts of your artwork. Play around with the different layer blend modes to achieve different effects. Multiply tends to be my go-to for this kind of artwork. Here's a time-lapse of the full coloring process. 